Okay, so as you guys know, I've been working on building this bottle bell here from Core Essential. This was sent to me by then for free for me to do videos and all that. You guys know Core Essentials, they do fantastic work. They have been in the community for years and I have been using it for years. I wear some of the bells constantly. My wife wear one of the bells too. My brother-in-law has wear the bells. My friends at work has wear the bells. I mean, you name it. Everybody gets a Core Essential bells because, you know, some of the opportunities that I've been having. Having. But again, I'm working on that. I started to buy some equipment specifically for that bell. And let me tell you, I know equipment is expensive sometimes. I got this whole set right here. This is what's going to be going on in the, in the bell. This is from Black Hawk. And again, this holster is pretty cool so far. It's essentially a holster that allows you to get retention with the TLR1 or TLR2. And by doing that, you could kind of switch pistols, right? So the pistol is not really what is retained to the holster. It's the light. And as you can see, the light right there. So again, you can see it right here and it fits pretty good. Uh, so far, I'm okay. I don't know if it's going to be like the best thing ever or not. You know, I, I'm still like messing around with it, but this is the holster and I was looking for magazine holsters and all that stuff. And I came across this. Now I want to put two mags. I want to put an AR-15 magazine. I want to put maybe like a dumb pouch or something like that. I remember when I was in combat, the dumb pouch was like the thing to have and maybe a knife. And I started looking at some of them and they are super expensive, right? And now that Uncle Sam is not paying for my gear and I have to pay for it sometimes by myself, uh, I kind of went for this one right here. So I'm gonna give you a quick look. This thing was really relatively not super expensive. I mean, it wasn't cheap neither, but it wasn't super expensive. Like some of the gear that I was looking at, uh, I mean, just a magazine pouch was like 60, 70 bucks. I was like, dear Lord, what can I do, right? And this is kind of what I came across and you can see it right there, right? And this is kind of what you have. It's gonna be for a pistol. There's gonna be some adjustments that you can make right here. I'm gonna show it to you guys. And again, obviously, this is gonna be able to use that Molly system. The company name is Crydex. And again, I don't I don't know where it's from or anything like that, but that's the company name right there. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. And it has like a way for you to open the clips. You can see it right there, essentially how you do that, right? So we're gonna take a look at it in here and just tell you, it feels like it's a little bit of plastic with maybe a little bit of leather, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but obviously it has retention just like this. And we're gonna try a couple different magazines. You have like a little bungee cord right here that is probably gonna allow you to bring more retention into the system. And obviously the Molly right here, which is kind of cool. It opens up by releasing that tab right there. So let's go ahead and try something out. Okay, this is a Glock magazine, nine mil. I think this is like a Glock 19 mag and you can kind of see it right there. And again, this is gonna be the first time. Let's put it in here, see how it fits. And man, it fits good. So that's kind of how it fits right there. You guys can see it right here. Let's take it out. And it feels good, let's put it back in there. All right, it feels pretty decent right there. Let's go ahead and get a different type of magazine. I think this one is the ZZ P07, and you guys see the magazine here. And again, I think this one has like a plus two, but again, let's put it in there. And uh, yeah, that fits good too. All right, so that's not bad at all. Again, for the kind of use it that I'm gonna have, that's pretty good, and obviously, to install it, you're just gonna have to remove back here. Let's go ahead and look at that picture. If you see that little tab right there, you kind of have to bring it up and then it will come out and then this open. And now when this open, obviously you could loop that through your Molly system. That's not bad at all, really. And then you secure in place. So, so far, I'm gonna tell you, so far it's not bad. I think it's pretty decent. I, I like it. I mean, it's a combination of plastic with like a leather or something, not really. Sure, obviously you have that bungee core right there to give it a little bit more tension or not. And again, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at the AR-15 one. By the way, I got two of those nine mil just to try it out. And this is the AR-1. Let's get it out of here. Same deal, you got a little picture right there so you could be aware. And this is kind of what you have right here, right? So a little bit of that plastic. This one is more like a plastic and uh, yeah, just, just plastic, overall all plastic. And then you obviously you have that bungee core here as well and you have the same bill loops in there the same way or the same molly system right there obviously you have your little bungee right here to put a little bit of pressure let's go ahead and put it in and here it is i mean that thing fits just fine 
no movement or anything like that. It feels like it's pretty decently retained. And again, if it's coming out, just coming out a little bit, obviously you could tie this up a little bit more to give it a little bit of more tension. And yeah, obviously don't tie it super tight because you have to be able to get it out, right? And you see that right there and that's holstering, right? So again, really, really cool. Again, it's gonna be in my bottle belt as well. So we're gonna run two pistol magazines. We're gonna run this and we're probably gonna run a couple of other things. We're gonna build it little by little. So here you have it. You have the AR-15 mag and then you have the pistol magazine mag. So far the look. Okay. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, God is in control.